Hello and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program tutorial. Today I will show you the steps to get a perfect orbit. An absolute perfect orbit can be somewhat difficult. Even NASA has trouble getting an absolutely perfect orbit. But we will get something close enough. A couple of hundred meters difference. So let's get our Kerbal inside and start our tutorial. So I've gotten my spaceship into orbit, but it's not perfect. My apolapse, the highest point, is at 300,000 meters, and my periapse, the lowest point, is at 100,000 meters. I want to get a circular orbit around 200,000 meters. To do that, I will raise the periapse and lower my apolapse to about 200,000 meters. I will do my first burn at apoapse since I already passed my periapse. It's easier to do your changes at periapse and apoapse, but it's not impossible. When I reach my apoapse, I will do a prograde burn, that's a burn in the direction of travel. When doing my burn, I will use very careful troll control uh, because I don't want to overshoot my target. And very small changes in your velocity will bring your periapse up by quite a lot. I am now turning my spacecraft in the direction of travel and preparing for my burn. I will try to do my burn as close to the apoapse as I possibly can. You will now see that I don't need to use too much throttle to get my spacecraft up to 200,000 meters. When my periapse is at 200,000 meters, I will warp around to my periapse and we will lower our um, apoapse to 200,000 meters by doing a retrograde burn, which is a burn in the opposite direction of travel. So I'm now just about to reach my periapse. And for this burn, I will show you how to plan a burn. We will do this by using maneuver nodes. You just click on the orbital line and select add maneuver. So here you can control your burns, but for this we just need the retrograde control. And we will now use this carefully to get our maneuver node down to about 200,000 meters. Now next to our nav ball we can see a delta v, the change of velocity that's needed for the burn our estimated burn time and time to node. We gotten our maneuver nodes to give us an orbit that's close enough for 200,000. You can by small changes get it even closer but I'm not gonna waste time by doing that now. I will now orientate my spacecraft to the blue cross that's appeared on the nav ball that is the direction of travel for the maneuver nodes. And I will wait until we reach uh, close enough to the node and then I will do the burn very carefully and try to get it down to 200 without overshooting it. I overshot it but that's not a problem we will just turn around and find the blue maneuver node again on the nav ball and we will line up our spacecraft and we will do a slow and careful burn and try not to overshoot it again and it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect but I want to get it close enough but if you want to get your orbit very very close like 50 meters in difference you have to go back and forth between apoapse and periapse a couple of times but for this tutorial this is close enough it's just a few hundred meters difference so we now gotten our perfect orbit it's circular around Kerbin and it's good enough for most purposes So let's say I want to pass over the impact crater on Kerbin. Now how do I do that? Well, we will use the maneuver nodes again. 
and we'll do some course corrections. I am pulling up on the maneuver node to see where my course will take me above the impact crater and you can also click in the middle and be very careful not to close your maneuver nodes or delete it but you can click in the middle to drag it around and find the perfect spot to start your maneuver so I'm now just testing back and forth to see where is perfect and you can see that my app apps has been raised so I will use the maneuver node to do some retro burning so that my peri apps and app apps still stay at about 200,000 meters and we just now have to wait until I get to the maneuver node and in the meanwhile I'll orientate my spacecraft to the maneuver node on the nav ball and I just need to take a little sip of water because my s voice is starting to crack up okay we now reach our maneuver node and I will start doing the burn and since there's quite a lot of delta V that needs to go through I will do this at full throttle and uh, we can see our course changing and I will soon slow down not to overshoot it and our marker has gone so we have to go and find it again there it is and we lock on and burn carefully the last six meters per second and this is pretty close that's good enough and I will just delete the maneuver node and we are heading straight over the crater so we can see that our course changes actually worked and we are passing straight over the crater So finally I will go through a landing, just a short presentation of a landing and uh, I will try to aim for the middle of the crater, right next to the island in the middle. And I burn until I get my orbit inside the atmosphere and we have to take into account that the atmosphere will slow the spaceship down so I will stop my burn about where the mountains stop and we will decouple the rest of the spacecraft so it's just the crew compartment left and we will prepare to enter the atmosphere so we just hit the atmosphere and shortly the spacecraft will start to slow down and there you can see the speed going down I will just warp this up a little bit so we don't have to wait so long and there goes the parachute and it looks like I'm pretty much on the marker on landing next to the island and I'll just skip a little bit forwards and we have splashed down and I have to say that I'm pretty happy about where the spacecraft landed. I wanted to land close to the island and in the middle of the crater. And this is probably as close I could get without doing more fine work. So I hope you enjoyed my Kerbal Space Program tutorial. Please leave a comment and I'll see you later guys. Wearing Storm, signing off.